Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and I forgot to upload a couple episodes. Let me get those going. Uh, six and seven, yeah. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Shen, and we're playing Grenada. Grenada? Granada. That's the one. Granada. We just ep exited a war with Portugal. We're going to group up our new recruits here in Almeria. Have some more cannons being built. That's fine. We're going to replenish our forces. We're actually going to go over our force limit. I, I feel like it's time that we flex our abilities. And we're currently sitting on 160 as our max. I think we can push it somewhere to maybe, two, maybe 200 or 220 before we'll actually feel any strain on the economy. And uh, that's probably fine. I, we can probably kick our advisor at some point, the level 3, because he's very expensive. But I would like to keep him as long as possible. I would like to see how long we can handle uh, the increased cost. Because our economy is pretty robust. And we just took the economic idea group. And so long as we keep pushing through economic ideas, we're going to have money. We're going to be ready to go. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. We're not going to be able to go to war for a while. It's unfortunate. Oh, France is actually winning their war against Russia. Oh, that, that, that'd be nice. If France wins their war against Russia, if they give a mouse a cookie, then um, good things could happen. Good things always happen when you give a mouse a cookie, right? Anywho. Every now and then, just got to check up on the Ottomans, make sure they're happy with us. Got to check up on the speed of succession. Oh, looks like Algiers had a little kid. Fucking hell, Algiers. God damn, we're never going to get unions this way. <laughs> Stupid Sunni with your 100% increased chance of an heir. Why does everyone have to have increased chance of an heir? Why can't it just be me? <laughs> Uh-oh, monetary reforms. Gain inflation or lose stability? Ah, uh, we'll take the inflation. Because... With the economic idea group, we're slowly going to get rid of inflation naturally. Isn't that nice? It's actually a nice little side perk. Side boob? Side perk. National decline. Uh, let's cut admin tech. Basically what it does is for 10 years, it makes technology 10% more expensive. Eh, it's not the end of the world. But since we're already going for um, ideas in the admin tech group, that's fine. We'll do that. And we'll plow through the economic ideas in the meantime. Why not? Okay, so what do we got now? We got uh, 80, 18, and 50. So let's get like, I don't know. Might as well get two more cav. Two more cav. And then we'll get like 10 more soldiers. Ah, 12 more soldiers. And a few more cannons. there. Build. Build all the things, please. Austria's breaking alliances. That's good. Austria's got a bunch of land just scattered all over the place. Look at this. Austria has Bremen, or Stade. He has Stade, Friesland. Of course, he has some of the lowlands down here. He has Anjou. He has Provence. It's just really weird. And he has some parts of northern Italy down here. Very weird. France and Russia white peaced. Oh. Oh, well, we... F <laughs> what the hell? Russia is now allied with Moldavia. This little... Oh, everybody's going to peacefully vassalize him. Yeah. <laughs> One province minor is like, you're my buddy now. Let's be friends. Uh, we'll go back to France, make sure we get that aligned. Uh, what else? Uh, Raw marriage, spread our culture. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, okay. Just click a button. It's not like we want to keep Bengal anyway. We're never going to have Bengal as an accepted culture, so let's do it. Are you integrating Bengal yet? No. Fucking annex your vassal already, Atse. My god. Atse just does not want to annex his vassal. It's very weird. That's what she said. So can we get any bonus up here? Yeah. Work on France a bit. Don't send an insult. Work on relationship. Make them like us. Can you do that for me? Can you make them like us? 
All right, more conversions, very good. We still have a scroll bar of conversions to do, but let's just start. Gotta start somewhere. Iroquois has westernized. Wow. Where are you, Iroquois? I gotta see this shit. Uh, there they are. Right next to California, who is a Dutch colony. Good job, Iroquois. And yeah, France is still at negative 20. Uh, Poland and Corland. Okay. Well, we could work on Castile a bit. Uh, we might be able to pull them up to negative 200. Just like we pulled Portugal up to negative 200. Could top off Aragon, but he'd still be in the coalition. Uh, yeah, I really would like Austria to lead this coalition. <laughs> I think that's got to be top priority. Austria leaving the coalition would make me a very happy panda. Because then we could fight Castile and Portugal. Well, and France would join. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's military access. Shit. <laughs> I thought they said that they had refused their, their enforced peace. So the AI is starting to do enforce peace. That's kind of cool. Regency. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just one year of Regency. It's not that bad. One year of Regency is not that bad. And did we lose any marriages? Yes, we did. All right. Well, give me some diplomats. There you go. Oh, we lost it with the Ottomans. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Ottomans are like, here you go. Thank you, Ottomans. The sign of a true friend is when they offer you the marriage. Atse? Oh, we lost it with Atse. And they haven't offered it? Oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Life wouldn't be complete without that marriage with Atse. <laughs> Taungu has westernized. Congratulations, Taungu. Ottomans have declared war on Trapsund. Okay. Ah, here we go. Castile and England. Well, there maybe they'll go to war together. That'd be nice. All right, we're back from France. France Pons. France Pons. France Pons. Don, 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 France Pons. Oh, and Britain. Oh. Wow, the annexation the annexation pro progress in Britain has really dropped down. It was supposed to finish next year. And now it's going to finish 10 years from now. Wow, what happened, Russia? He's like, I done goofed. You done did goofed. Anyway, we don't need covert actions. We're not going to fabricate any claims. What a pointless act. <laughs> hey, our sultan is here. Yay. And we can now do uh, missionary strength. Uh, yearly prestige and national tax. Very nice. But we will need a few more modifiers for piety. So we got to wait for some nice events to roll in, I guess. Or we could check if there's somebody we could hire. There's not. Of course there's not. Is that a better, rel better relations over time guy? No, of course not. Don't get your hopes up, Shen. This guy is 59 years old. He just doesn't want to die. He does not want to die. Okay, how are we doing with Russia? We are negative 16, and he's still hostile because he fabricated a fucking claim on me like a bastard. Look at this. Like a fucking bastard. 22, 24 more years of this bullshit. Fuck you, Russia. What a jerk off. Well, two free diplomats. What the hell do we want? I think the first thing I want is to group up all these fucking dudes. Takes up a lot of my fucking screen. Here, turn off recruiting regiments. That's just too much screen. Uh, uh, recruiting regiments. Bingo. There we go. Once we group all these guys up, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll be fine. There we go. Three free diplomats. Oh, come on. Who the hell do I need relations with? Go back to Kara. 
Ottomans. We still have our guarantee. What's causing problems here? Fought to the end. Honor of alliance. They have access. What the hell's causing problems here? Same religion, same marriage, guaranteed and alive. I actually have no idea, but for some reason our relation with the Ottomans is just not very good. I can't really do anything else for them, really. Hmm. Oh well. As long as it stays above 150, I'll be happy. There you go. Yeah. Russia peacefully vassalized Moldavia. That was expected. That's fine. Let's go get Austria back up there. Hopefully he'll leave. I mean, he's at plus 11. That should be enough reason to leave, but he's still in the coalition for now. Naples and Extrabino, so they have Rome now. Good for them. Wow, we have plus 19, and he's still in the coalition. My goodness. Stubborn, 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 stubborn. And yes, Castile and France still still have an alliance. Of course they do. Of course Castile and France are best buddies. Isn't that historically accurate? As far as I can remember, yeah. Okay, what else do we need? Six more soldiers and four more cannons. You got it. Build them all. Oh, bulb time. Nice. It only costs us 30... There are 360 points. For each idea. Oh, that's really nice. Ha <laughs> ha! Some pretty cheap ideas there. So buildings are now cheaper. Very good. Uh, what else can we convert? Yeah, just convert everything. Oh! My protectorate is westernizing. Ajuran is westernizing. I wonder if your protectorate westernizes, do they become your vassal? So I don't think they can. I don't think it's possible for them to, for them to remain as a protectorate. Eh, whatever. And all of our diplomats are available. I don't need diplomats. I just don't. Here, get relations up with Kian. And Brittany. And Trier. Trier's pretty good. Doesn't want an alliance, but they're pretty good. Pretty good. Naples. There you go. Pirates in the Gulf of Suez. Really? Yeah. Five? Five galleys. Five galleys. Okay. Um, I think we can solve that problem. Five galleys. The Ottomans might even fix it on their own. I don't know if the Ottomans have a navy down here, though. They may not. They may only have the Mediterranean fleets. Who knows? Still no claimable throne. Damn it. Yeah, he still has an heir. And he's still not in... He just doesn't want to integrate Bengal. I think we're just going to have to go in next Bengal. I mean, this is... It's getting a little silly. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just build a fleet, and we'll go in next Bengal. I'm getting a little tired of this crap.
Okay, 20 heavy ships. That should be all we need. Let's get a couple more transports over here. Seventeen transports or 20, 20 transports. It should be fine. All right, build a fleet, and uh, we'll just because I'm sick of this crap. Hey, free piety, nice, nice. So conversions will be a little quicker, not amazingly quicker, but a little bit. Forty-one turns into thirty-two. Save nine months. I'll take it. Nobody's colonies are fighting each other right now. That's kind of sad. All right, Alan Tejo's done. What else needs converting? Everything. Actually, the scroll bar is not that bad. It'll still take some time, though. Oh, come on, France. You can unrival me. We're cool. We can be bros. France bros. Oh, are we ahead? We are one year ahead. Well, I'm not going to tech up one year ahead. No, sir. No, sir. There you go. Yes. So, Portugal and France are going to war. All right. And, Cast I mean, Portugal lost all of their alliances. All of them. Because bullshit. So, Portugal and France are at war. Fantastic. And if we can get Austria out of the coalition, now would be a good time to go to war with Portugal. Right? Because, you know coalition so please 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 Austria get out of this damn coalition come on we have enemy of enemy we're at plus 97 what can I do to make you happy if I guarantee him, then we'll have to get in all of his wars. I'm not sure I want to get in all of his wars. In fact, I know I don't want to get in all of his wars. Ottomans have honored their military alliance with Sweden. They're now at war with Poland. Huh, huh, huh. Poland has well, a couple allies. Not much, though. Oh, God. Lithuania's joined... Uh, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's the Ottomans versus Lithuania and Poland. It's, it's a joke. A very bad joke. But yeah, Austria, leave the coalition. Come on. If you leave, I can declare war. I just need you to leave the, the coalition. That's all. It's a statesman, but there's no better relations guy. I need a better relations guy. Come on. Why can't I pick whatever fucking advisors I want? Why can I only pick from those three guys? Stupid. We're a nation of, you know, 50 or 100 million people. And we can... <laughs> no, there's no, there's nobody around that can make relations any better. Nope. Not possible, sir. Can't find anyone who knows how to do that, sir. All right, tech up time. There we go. So it's 596 points. Um, it's a little more expensive because we're Defender of the Faith, but I think Defender of the Faith is worth having, so that's fine. Yay! Artillery, fire, and shock. Very nice. Uh, tech 26 will be very good because we get new units and land morale plus one. That's huge. That'll bring our morale from six to seven. That's a big bonus. And look at that, we're over by 21 units, and our economy is still okay. Nice. And if we kick that level 3 advisor, our economy will be very okay, because he costs 36 ducats. Come on, Austria, leave the coalition so I can declare war on Portugal. 
Any sensible man would have left the coalition by now, Austria. Why are you clinging to this? What's your beef? What's your beef, Austria? Oh, navies are finishing up. All right. Uh, is that all the navies? I think it is. Um, yeah, all the navies are done. Okay, well, let's group up. Dee -dee -dee. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And just come group up in... Let's group up over here and maybe Chittagong? Whatever. And let's get you. Chittagong. And my army can also go to Chittagong. Yay. We won't need many troops over here. <laughs> we just won't. Oh, England and Castile. That means Russia's in, right? Yeah. So Russia's now at war with Castile. Did France join? Or did Castile lose their alliance with France? No, they still have it. So France did not join. Interesting. Huh. I thought they would have lost their alliance. Oh well. Alright, let's go finish off Bengal. Some general died, whatever. Oh, come on, game. Oh, well. Oh, more ships are finishing. That should be all the ships, I think. Alright, yeah, I think we should switch out for a cheaper guy. Production efficiency, sure. Alright, good. Back to making good money. Sort of. It's fine, relax. And if we can pull this off, should have Master of India. Or we could just take Bengal as a vassal. That might be a better choice. Yeah, that's free cores. It's just gotta wait ten years. That's probably worth it though. Free cores for everyone. Alright, I should steal the trade ships as well. So we're going to miss out on the trade income bonus, but should still be okay, I think. Britain wants access. No, you can suck my, no suck my balls, Britain. I mean, you're not going to be around much longer. You're getting an X. doesn't matter. You do what you got to do, Britain. Do what you got to do, Britain. What's this? Agricultural cultivation. Tech cost is more expensive, but we get production efficiency. I'm not keen on tech cost. It would be a little more income, though. Hmm. 2% is not that bad. Nah, we'll, we'll turn it off for now. Alright, so what do we have? 20 transports. That'll do. That'll do, Peg. Now, Atse, he's not westernized, is he? No, he's not. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about Atse. Um, Bengal has started to westernize. I don't think he's done yet. His troops are going to be garbage with, what is it, Tech 17? Ot says Tech 19, which is better, but come on. We're talking about fully westernized units here. Led by Wahid Umar. Oh, man. Go, Wahid. Uh, Taungu did finish westernizing, so congrats to you, Taungu. I'd say I respect you, but I really don't. <laughs> you guys can suck my nuts, Taungu. Uh, it's cool to see you exist, but other than that, I don't really care what happens to you. 
We could go top off with the Ottomans a bit. You know, we don't have with the Ottomans. We don't have Enemy of Enemy anymore. Oh, because he put Castile back in the list. People keep changing who their enemies are. Let's see. You hate Lithuania. You hate Sweden. You hate Portugal. I can't do everyone. <laughs> I just... I can't do everyone, and we're already allied with the Ottomans, so I guess that's the one that suffers. It's very unfortunate, it's a horrible situation, but uh, I love you Ottomans, you know that. We're best buds. Alright, so who are you allied with? Nobody. Yeah, Atse has no allies. Oh, here's a question. I don't think this is going to happen. It says Atse is guaranteed by Portugal, right? But if I declare war on Bengal, that's not declaring war on Atse. And it's 16, I'm not going to wait 16 years now. We're just going to declare war. I think this should be fine. I don't think Portugal's going to join. I guess we find out. Because we didn't declare war on Atse. Atse honored the alliance. So that should not bring in Portugal. Right? All right, let's get our navy down here and screw him up. Yeah, I think our navy's better than that. Although he may have an admiral. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Our tech is better. Yeah, so Portugal can't join because we didn't declare war on Atse. We declared war on Bengal. Interesting. Go kick some butt. Wahid, you're the man. Ah, there's the navy. Can we catch you? No, of course not. We're slow as garbage. Uh, let's go straight to Johor. See if we can find anything interesting down here. Poor Atse. Hey, there's his navy. Come back. I want to play. I brought cookies from Europe. Don't you want some European cookies? Look at Russia down here. Like a boss. Russia colonizing Java. Holy crap, Russia. All right, looks like he ran away, but let's circle around and go blockade his capital. Sounds like fun. Oh, we just squished Bengal. Oh, we lost 54 soldiers! No! <laughs> huh. Oh, we lost 54 soldiers. No. We should build more units. Wow. Um, actually, well, we're over the limit. Maybe we shouldn't build more units. I don't know. No, I guess we won't. We'll keep our nice bankroll. Let's not go nuts on units. We're not an AI with AI bonus and hard mode where they can just afford, you know, billions of units. Oh, there you are. Where are you running? Straits of Lombok. All right. Uh, Straits of Lombok. It's going this way. All right. See so if you can catch him. If not, then come back this way. That's fine. Still hat. Poop and go. I'm just going to poop out some sieges. Poop and go. Poop and go. And then come back to Chittagong. Actually, we can just go to Iraq and, yeah, just start sieging him up. I don't really think Atse has a chance against us. <laughs> so I'm not going to respect him. Sorry, Atse. Nothing personal. I just don't respect you. And yeah, Russia's winning their war against Castile. Big fucking surprise. He has Britain's huge fleet blockading... The, yeah, see, they're blockading the shit out of Castile. That gives them war score. Uh, it also gives Castile war exhaustion. Now, I would like it if Austria would leave this fucking coalition. Austria, look, you don't deserve to be in this coalition. We're at plus 22. We're supposed to be bros. God damn it, Austria, we are bros. When you form the HRE, I want to be there. I want to be your buddy. You know? Russia wants access. Sure. Wait, why do you need access? You're at war with Castile. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Go ahead. Go invade Castile. Do it. Do it now. Oh, more piety. Yes. Good, 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 good. Love me some piety. Faster religious conversions for the win. Uh, still no dispute succession. Damn it. I really can't wait for Tech 26. Tech 26 is such a huge jump. You get new units, you get more morale, more combat with. Oh, it's so nice. The only thing missing is tactics, but still. Pretty freaking good upgrade.
Looks like there was nothing to attack. Damn it. All right, let's just go dock up. Oh, no, no, he's dropping troops off. Look at this son of a bitch. He's a slick son of a bitch. Totally surprised the hell out of me. Oh, our marriage with that say is over. Damn. You're running to Chittagong, are you? I'll meet you there. Oh, he changed his mind. He's like, I guess I won't go to Chittagong. How about we go to Otterwadi? Nope. How about we stay in a rockin', huh? How about I keep you busy until my navy arrives? <laughs> Just keep him distracted. Our, our navy's on the way. Don't worry. We're on the way. Ooh. Royal Palace. Now we're talking. What does that do? Is that legitimacy? It is. <gasps> oh, that is nice. It's like, it's like having an extra royal marriage. That's rather nice. Point one legitimacy every year. Very nice. And wow, our ships are getting really hurt up. Hurt down here. Hurt up. We gotta go dock up soon. Yay. Oh, he's docking up. Shoot, don't dock up. Oh, he did. He docked his navy right on my face. So now he's attacking in the mountains. And he has the docking up crossing penalty. So he's taking a negative four penalty to it. Although, he did roll a 9 because AI bonuses are turned on and it's on hard mode. So even with no general and double negative 2 penalties, he still rolls a 9 and we get a 0. Thank you so much, game. It doesn't matter. He didn't squish? Oh, I thought he would squish. He didn't squish. Uh, we'll just, I don't know, just siege him up, I guess. Alright, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, kill that little navy. Pew, 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 pew. We'll lose a couple ships, but he should lose his whole fleet. And that had 12 heavies in it. Nice. Oh, we didn't even lose a ship. We didn't even lose a ship. 15 heavies destroyed. Take that, you little bastard. Oh, you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for further war with Atse and probably another invasion of Castile. I'll see you then. Have a good day.